Okay guys, so you're going to be starting at your computer and um, I've just scanned in three random things just for examples but I've got this picture of a star and then I've got um, an old black and white picture of my great grandfather and his cousin and if you'll notice, if you're going to be putting words, let me pull this over. We've got a window there we're battling. Okay. If you're going to put words on, you have to remember to reverse them because this is going to be an iron-on. And so when this lays down, you're going to be able to read it. Okay, and then I just did one other one here, uh, just a ribbon with a Christmas bell scene uh, that says Merry Christmas. So we're going to go into, now you could do one that's just wording if you had a poem or something like that. You know, you could do that as well. Just remember, you want to reverse the letters. And depending on your program, you would find that up here. Okay, so uh, we're going to go into Print Layout and grab some templates. Now I already know based on the size of my ribbon I'm going to have to go really small. Like I tried doing um, an 8.5 by 11 sheet and fitting uh, 3 on the sheet and it was still too big. So we're going to go smaller. Uh, let's just go into wallet sizes. And we're going to pull over the star. And we'll do a couple. Then we're going to bring over the photograph. Once I get it over here, of course, I'm going to want to rotate it. And then just fill my space. And we'll go ahead and do, well, we won't need a couple of those. But if you were doing something like a family reunion where you wanted um, a ribbon hanging down maybe from the name tag, you wanted to put a photo of which family you represent, for example, or a quick little family tree, like I would have Charlie, Cooper, Margie, Linda, you know, showing the tree down to me. So that would even be um, a good thing to do with this. And let's bring over the little Christmas one. Now I've loaded my iron-on paper in the printer and to check your settings go into print setup and see I can tell that it is set correctly it's going to print in a portrait so everything that I have showing here is filling my page. One other thing you want to look for is do you want it in color or black and white um, but also I want to go into my properties It's just on standard. I want to put that on a really high print quality. And click OK. And now we can close this and go ahead and hit print. OK, guys, so what we have here is a two and a half inch ribbon. Just got it at Walmart, but you could get it at any um, any place that sells uh, probably crafts and sewing supplies. So I have everything cut out, 
and we're just going to lay this down. Grab an iron. We don't want to use steam, we just want to use a dry iron. And lay it right down. You can see we still have some red there. out of the way we're just going to spin our ribbon we're going to lay the photograph on just kind of center it on this one um, like I said you could use it as a ribbon to hang from a, a name tag at a, a reunion or something like that what I did one year was um, we had a grandparent to pass away and I made some of these for a few of my aunts and uncles that had a, a picture of their mom and dad together and um, at the bottom I kept it simple you know, at the bottom, I just folded the ribbon and did a cut, pretty standard cut. Like that. And then at the top, on some of them, I had folded it over very simply. I would cut off the excess, of course. And um, I had run a ribbon through it with a tassel at the end so that it was something they could put in the family Bible if they wanted or in their regular Bible. I know um, there's not many people who still carry a Bible. Everybody has Kindles now, but um, this is just an idea. Or maybe if you were going to make a ribbon um, to go in a floral arrangement, depending on if it's an anniversary party or a birthday party or something like that, you know, the same concept, you know, you might want to use childhood, if it's birthday, for example, childhood pictures up to adult or whatever age they are. Uh, if it's anniversary, maybe a wedding picture, um, things like that, you know, to put in the, the arrangements. Now, um, up here, you could also do the classic fold, make it into a point, and then fold it over and put a hole in it and have the tassel coming out of the hole. So lots of different things you could do uh, with your old black and white photos. Um, you could also, same concept, when you put um, something Christmassy on it, you could add rickrack or um, some glitter paint and maybe go around the edge of whatever you put on there you could uh, pinch the edges and put uh, a decorative ribbon and just tuck this in your tree with your ornaments or um, you could do something like if it was a special Christmas gift for your spouse or a child, whoever, that you wanted to just personalize it a little bit. 
um, maybe instead of Merry Christmas, or you could still do Merry Christmas, but put their name um, to who it's to, you know, things like that. Or if you're doing decorations for the home, that's why I just chose something pretty standard like the star here. Um, now you'll notice I didn't take time to detail out the things I cut out. I left some white space. So that on this shiny ribbon shows up. So that's something to keep in mind. You may want to, if you are doing it for your home especially, make sure to cut the star out itself and don't leave any white space. And there's a lot of shades of white out there, so you can tell by this right here. <laughs> But um, let's say that you did have floral arrangements throughout the house and you just wanted to kick it up a little bit. You could do something like this um, with the decor that matches your room and have some ribbons coming out. That would be cute. So just a lot of different things you could do. Or if you're into sewing for the kids, if you was making a little girl's dress, and you wanted to make it special, you know, you could put something on the ribbon and then tie it around the waist of the dress. Uh, just little things like that. Or if your kids are really into sports and uh, you wanted to make uh, ribbons for a ponytail and put the team name or something like that in it um, for your child. You know, it's really unlimited, but it is a lot of fun to work with. And so I thought I would just show you guys this. And I um, hope you got some ideas. So you guys have a great week this week. I'll see you next week. Bye.